Have you ever wanted a vintage muscle car like that 70 Charger right there, but didn't want to mess with all the clutch linkage because you want a four speed, you want a man pedal, you want to bang gears like a dude should be with testosterone fuel manliness? Well, stay tuned in this video as we show you how to install the American Powertrain Hydromax Hydraulic Clutch Setup into a B-body Mopar, this 70 Charger Jezebel. So please stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. Intro time. What on earth are we doing today? Working on old Jesse Bell. Late in the day, albeit. You know, I really regret turning on the camera. I really didn't want to turn it on today because this is, you know, they say hydraulic clutch. Easy, simple. Not really. I don't care who he is. Maybe we're just that dumb. That's such a pain in the ass. There ain't nothing online on how to get this stuff mounted right or anything, so. Dad and I have been out here working on it and we're getting ready to get our plate test bolted on here so we can drill the rest of the holes and get our <coughs> uh, ship mounted. This is a uh, American Powertrain's Hydromax setup. Same stuff like what Mike Finnegan's using to blast me, so we had to hog out those holes there. And we got this thing. This is your template, your backup plate. Basically, this bolts to the back of the master cylinder, slave cylinder, whatever, for the hydraulic clutch. And then it's sandwiched between the firewall and all that fun jazz. Now we're getting ready to get a test fitted. Let me set you down. This is nowhere near as simple as I was hoping it would be. But as goes with anything with loading hot rods, never simple. Oh, wow, look at that, dude. Hmm, it kind of works. I'm gonna try and hold this thing square. Finger tight. Need a wrench? <laughs> yeah, can. No. Oh, I didn't no. got oh. that one. Oh, I only got one wrench. Michael! So, as you can see, we finally got that kind of place. What we ended up doing is we got our master cylinder for our clutch kind of on here, got the rod aligned to where we like it to here. So that way it ain't gonna have no bind and it looks like it's gonna be pretty. Next, we gotta figure out how we're gonna either eliminate this pin for the factory rod that cooks onto it, because it uses the heim joint. So, working on that. Not super easy, not nearly as simple and as fun as I was hoping, but we'll get her done. All right, I'm gonna hold it dead and I'll let you tighten it. You got more room out there. Yep, I got my line, holes lined up. I want to double check, make sure this thing's straight. But that's what's going on, guys. Just wanted to give you a little update. This is probably not going to be the greatest video in the world, but we are just going to try and get as much done as possible. So, see you guys in a little bit. Is that it? We got our mounted kind of square. So, now we're going to drill them holes and get this baby mounted, and then maybe try and get the master cylinder on tomorrow. And from there, next weekend we can maybe think about engine. No, we gotta set up the hydraulic clutch actually on the transmission still, so got a couple weekends to go for that. Be able to kind of hold it in place as I screwed the big nut on. See? Michael said nipple. Uh, and nuts. And nuts. Brake lines are done. Michael likes nuts on his nipples. You bet you. That's on camera. <laughs> so we got those two holes done. Let's see if we get this thing test fitted, Dad. Yeah. You say just the tip? Just the tip. Every time I turn the camera on, it's right after Michael says something stupid or funny. Stupid. Oh, now he's all butt hurt, Dad. Yeah. <coughs> I don't think that's gonna work down there like that, Dad. No, but you're gonna have to cap that off. That that's got that little thing that goes on top of that. See, we got to mount this now. Now we got that baby down there, out of the way. I'm thinking about shaving the side of this off, mounting it right there. 
and then that reservoir will sit on top of it and it'll just be over here away from the brake lines and everything. At least it should be out of the way of the brake lines. I need to test fit the master cylinder. You can always twist it too. That is true. There's already a hole right there. Yeah, I don't want it on the side of the, I don't want it there. I don't want it, no, no. Oh, I got, here, here. Yeah. Yo, know, it's. Put it right here so you can watch it when you're driving. Yeah. Oh, we need to make a, remember it's got a, it needs to sit like this though. Oh. Or like this. Yeah, like that. I think that's how you're supposed to mount that thing. Yeah. We can mount it way over here. Oh, and have an extra long line. Or, everybody would think it was your windshield washer. Here. Just gonna get that weird about it. How about on the tire? Oh, yeah, mount it on the tire? Yeah, that way, you know, it's spinning around centrifugal force. Probably be better if you mounted it on the hubcap, on the, on the hub. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because this thing was on the tire, it might come down and smash it. Yeah, yeah so I probably don't want to do that. You know, some people will be really wanting to watch this video on. Cause they had the same issue we're having because we're too stupid to be able to mount this stuff and get it figured out but <coughs> yeah you're shoot out of luck <clears throat> best thing to do is just stop overcomplicating it make sure everything lines up let me just show you and hope i not tear my jeans on this pinch weld i just did oh. but you get a look at that you want to make sure that rod there has a good angle to your pivot on your pedal which is this guy so as long as those guys are kind of in line which there's plenty of adjustment between that will wood master cylinder deal that you should never have the issue if you look at it straight up there's your rod parents will go straight to this it's a little bit off but this is room to move and whatnot so it's coming together and i'm gonna go shave this get it test fitted and see how far we can make it before we lose the sunlight how's that going michael shitty. he says shitty anybody curious about michael's truck it's still running strong old bananarama he doesn't want that name to stick but it's sticking oh yeah all right so i got this baby clearance got a little bit crazy on this side but see how she fit Oh, look at that, Dad. Stays in place by itself. I'd just put some glue on it. I think glue, yeah, yeah. Maybe a little bit of duct tape, maybe a little bondo. Flex seal. Yeah, flex seal. I got a whole tub of that. <laughs> they work good on the gutters. Yeah. Look, it's even holding sticks. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to be perfect. I mean, that's a pretty damn good fit, if I say so myself. Who needs bolts? That's extra weight for the drag strip, right? Yep. <laughs> but yeah yeah seriously that's how that's that's baby's gonna fit in there and we got a couple of screws we're gonna drill in the old firewall right there mount her down and that reservoir gonna sit like so oh shit i better make sure the reservoir is gonna clear that pinch well here you hold that you get to be the cameraman which is like my bane because well you have a bad tendency of not pointing the camera at anything. You'll know, like be videoing a worm or something. Michael, what are you doing? God. <laughs> Michael's playing with my butthole. It's it's getting three weird. Foot bar. Getting weird. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work, dude. That's a little too close in there. I got this turned the right way. Yeah, because if it goes this way, then it's definitely gonna hit. Oh, we could build a spacer. Space this out a little bit from the firewall. I know it can't go that way. Oh, maybe. Oh, we'll figure it out and I'll show you guys once we get it figured out. Maybe that, maybe that. That looks pretty custom. Yeah, it's ever. that little notch right there. Yeah. Kind of sits on the fender. Yeah, I wish it would sit up a little bit more than it does. I don't want the fender to keep it from, you know, sealing up I think it needs to be spaced out just a little bit bakers yeah washers 
But yeah, right there it ain't terrible. I mean, really, it's really not all that bad. I guess I could live with that. I just don't want to advertise for Willwood, but oh well. Dad, camera's up here. I got your face on the screen. Oh, all right. Well, oh Jesus, thanks. That's gonna be all weird. All right, old man, put the camera down. I'm gonna punch you with this thing. Put the camera down. Not that, God dang it. <laughs> wow. You little nipple. I put it right there. See, I covered the nipple up for Michael. Don't we know to get in there. <laughs> Leave that nipple exposed. Michael's life will be all over it going. Blah. No, you're stuck in there, Dad. You're not allowed to leave. I'm not over the fender. I, I did that. You got to sit in there and make engine noise, Dad. Bang, 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 bang. What is it? Well, Michael's going to Michael's gonna try and make us a spacer. Come on, uh, it's fine. No. Really? Yep. Son of a bitch. I was gonna try a plasma cut this out. He's never used a plasma cutter before. Nope. So, hopefully, nothing goes horribly wrong on your first attempt, Michael. Oh, I got plenty of metal if it does. Dad's currently adjusting the plasma cutter, which has always worked great for me, so now it's probably not gonna cut worth a shit. Oh well. Well, there's paper in there, so that might catch on fire. Yeah, it's a yeah. metal bin. I know, but I don't really don't want another fire. So, I'll let you guys know when Michael's actually plasma cutting. Michael's doing a fine job. Well, he was until he stopped. What do you think about it, Dad? You got your crack lighter out? I don't think your crack lighter's hot enough to cut that metal. I don't think that's gonna work. Mm. Michael, you cut a piece of metal out. Oh. Look at that. You said it wouldn't do 3 eighths. Well, it ain't. It's probably, it cut 3 eighths, but it wasn't happy. It's probably right there on its edge. I think that was past its edge. Cause it should just like blow through. Mm -hmm. Instead of sitting there melting it, melting it, melting it, and finally cutting through it. Maybe we didn't have enough air. Well, you did fuck with the air. I had it set up where it was happy. It was in 100 PSI. On the compressor, and then the welder down here is a whole different deal. Oh. Yeah. Why even have a regulator on a compressor? It's like an air arc. More air is better. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, there's Michael's deal. Michael, pick that up and show the camera. <laughs> even though you're a squirrel turd, I ain't grabbing another pair of hands. How nutty is a squirrel turd? Probably pretty nutty. Depends on how many nuts he has in a week. That would be the question of the day. Nutty squirrel turd. How nutty is a squirrel turd? Pretty nutty. Maybe. That yeah. looks like a toddler cut it out. It's my first try, <laughs> dick. Uh, a blind semi-retarded after... blind semi retarded toddler who has try. no who has no arms. First try. Cut it with his teeth. It didn't stay on the right side of the line. Stayed right on the line. Uh, it looks kind of like one of Michael's girlfriends bit that out. Like she chewed that out of the steel with like her a like, couple of buck teeth. Really? Yeah. Oh, shut it up. So what we just learned is Dad messed with the settings. I had everything fine-tuned to, and went from cutting like that to cutting more like that. That's how it's supposed to be. The air is free. And I gotta remember, it's not a welder. I don't need to have it at an angle. No. <laughs> well, I mean, the angle sometimes good, but... We'll mark out a new one. And... Yeah, Dad, you put your hands right there. and oh, You gotta melt the Sharpie. Get a piece of chalk. You got no chalk. Yeah. Show us your bracket there, Michael, with a little grinding bit. Made right. it pretty. Look at that. Just like when you're a terrible welder, a grinder will make your weld look amazing. That's right. It turned out pretty good, Michael. I don't know where your bracket went, but if it's oh, right there. That's perfect. Right, right now we're getting our holes here for the firewall. In there. 
And it's also going to be an extra reinforcement for the old clutch pedal, like as if the clutch pedal brackets needed any more shit going on. But it's going to work out pretty good. I didn't having to knock that hole out, but yeah, it wouldn't. The holes wouldn't be elongated if it wasn't hot rod. Nobody gets their holes dead right in the first go. And we're getting ready to, <coughs> Mike was working on the spacer in there and we're gonna enlarge these holes cause they're quarter inch. And they send you damn sheet metal screws to mount this thing. Sheet metal screws are not a permanent attachment. Mm. We're gonna enlarge these holes, use some regular bolts, bigger bolts. What are those, five sixteenths? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that way we got real good securation right there. That's a new word. Securation. 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 Yeah, trademark. TM. TM. <laughs> so that's what we're getting ready to do. We're gonna put that bad girl right there. How's your spaceship look, Michael? We gotta draw out them holes. Uh -oh. What'd you do? Uh oh. That wants the hair off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, we got to enlarge these holes still. So we got to enlarge these holes. No. Well, we got to enlarge those. We got to enlarge these. These are only a quarter inch. These are only 516, but still, this one's just a hair off. We got them here. Michael, what the shit? We give you a job. Hey, it was your center punching thing that threw it all out of whack. My center punch broke. I fixed it, though. I got to do Grandpa Joe's drill press. That's not Grandpa Joe. That's Great Grandpa Harry's. That's great Grandpa Harry's drill press that walked. Yeah, that drill press, it, the chuck on it kind of does this number. I ought to just make these holes to hair bigger anyway. <coughs> yeah, it's just spacer here. Yeah. Oversize it. Bring my drill bit. Bit. We need that drill bit, Michael. Come on. Hurry up. This ain't no freaking uh, 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 union job. You ain't working for the city. You ain't getting paid by the hour. Get your ass in gear. Don't you throw my drill bit at me. He threw my drill bit at me. I need a bigger one. Where's the good one? I caught it in my belly fur. There's some in that, in that black. Have you ever seen one of them? Yeah, have All right, so I'm getting, I'm hunting for washers and stuff for this mount. And, Michael, what the fuck did you just do? Broke the carbide dip. That carbide's been with me for years and years, and that thing has done a lot of cylinder heads. It's all right, there's there more. Give it back. I'm. Oh, shit, now it's gone forever. Now, oh. Ow. It got lost in my crotch. It was worse. Well, I'll go throw that in the knickknack drawer. <laughs> <laughs> Never throw anything away. Never throw anything. How far off is that son of a bitch, Michael? Show the camera. Show the camera there. That's far off. I mean, can't really, can't really uh, showcase that, but let it be known that I center punched those, but it was in the center of Dad's mark with the paint marker. <laughs> This is a highly accurate instrument. Yes, that's highly accurate. Somewhere in that ballpark. <laughs> ballpark. So basically, when you're pin punch, when you're center punching, you know, to drill your hole, don't go off the center. You probably should have center punched a whole bunch of holes and then went in between that. Well, I kind of broke my self-centering punch, you know, the Technically, quickies. we should have measured the holes out. Hmm. What kind of fag talk? What the... F You want me to get some shorter bolts? We don't. We need bolts, Dad, not boats. <laughs> well, we're gonna need a long bolt for that. Oh, oh no! What's up with that, Michael? Oh no! He doesn't want to show it on camera. So Michael's killed a carbide bit, and our Ingersoll ran grinder that was our best one it's a sad day Michael's got no luck today apparently I'm gonna go clean those out see there he goes daily driver truck you haven't seen that video where we rescued that truck from sitting for 15 years out of a buddy's place go check it out there'll be a little cart or something maybe over in that corner or that corner you know somewhere let's look around for it really good video Daily driver now. So, crazy hogged out holes and everything. I got the bracket in here drying. I even stamped the top of it. Scott's as good as I could. Vice was making it move, but there she is. Little bracket. All right, well, I'll show you guys tomorrow when we get everything mounted up and we'll call her a day.
All righty, so another day. It's late in the day. But we finally got that little tricky son of a bitch mounted. See, look, it's crooked, Dad. What's crooked? The actual thing. I just noticed that. It's crooked. You will notice that a guy galp about a whore from never knows. Yeah, sure. Depends on how good or how, it depends on how fast or slow his horse is. But here's the debacle that happened. Cause I'm one in charge of drilling them holes. Yeah. Fuck that. But I still would rather have that than damn sheet metal screws holding that thing on. That's ignorant. And hey, look at these hose clamps they send you. <laughs> look at these giant, nice, they're really nice looking hose clamps. But look how freaking big they are. Yeah. Unless they're for this, you know, for clamping your reservoir on, but it's got an O-ring that seals it on. I don't know, we're probably screwing up. Well, the instructions aren't too... Yeah, the instructions will tell you what to do with these things. And well, if you use these on the reservoirs, then what are you supposed to use to clamp their freaking rubber hose they send you to do the reservoir to there, but I don't know. But we're slowly making headway. Yeah. This kit, this kit really better be amazing. And auto works to absolutely badass or I'm gonna be pissed off. Really pissed off. They sold all my manual linkage for a uh, B-body. Oh well. All right, well I'm gonna get back to work helping dad and uh, we'll get this crap going. Big scissors at work. All right guys, little update. Let's show you what's going on. So I put dad to work because if someone's going to destroy my nearly irreplaceable B-body four-speed pedals, it's going to be him. So, um, we found the best point was the factory pin that goes right there. And Dad really ground the shit out of that, actually, right there. So, we knocked that pin out. And uh, that's where we're going to try and put this Heim joint that they supply you with. And this goes onto a thread rod with a coupler. And it all gets linked up to the uh, hydraulic master cylinder there for the clutch. Alrighty, guys and gals. So, we'll just give you a recap on everything. So, this is the American Powertrain's Hydromax hydraulic clutch system. Being installed on 70 Charger, Jezebel. And uh, we finally got it all figured out. You know, we got that bad girl mounted right there. And uh, we put it in the factory hole. And I originally thought we should probably move this over a little bit because then they give us better alignment for our push rods. So that way this thing could operate properly. But now I'm out here and I look at it, we couldn't have moved it over anymore towards fender well. So that's just where it's got to be. Made a spacer bracket, fitted that. And this has been the part that has kicked our asses all day. And it's still not perfect. But hopefully you can see in here. Not really. All my lights faded away. But the clutch pedal, it works now. We had to come up with some custom spacers. Ah, hang on. All right, now we're back. We got a flashlight. So as you can see, there's that baby mounted right there. We still got to set our stop and everything right there, get all that fully adjusted. But we had to make a bunch of shims out of washers and stuff to finally get this thing to work right but there it is working what a pain in the ass what an absolute pain in the ass see my custom clutch pedal stop bolting a nut but uh yeah they don't tell you you got to modify your pedal and put a big old hole in it so that way the heim joint will work yeah pretty nice setup but that actual part is well wood we're gonna show you Oh, we're going to hopefully get installed next weekend. It's slow progress. What do you think about it, Dad? Yeah, Dad's face right there. I don't want to tell you how well this kit went. So, this is the actual meat of the kit. The Hydromax deal. So, hopefully next weekend that crap will be getting mounted on that baby. And hopefully sooner or later that baby get mounted to that baby. And those babies get put in that old bitch. Think about that, Dad. That would be a good thing. All right. So, thanks for watching, guys. This video probably sucked. I think it sucked. 
But we got that clutch pedal working, Dad. If nothing else, voided our warranty probably, but yeah. <laughs> but I ordered this thing like over a year ago, so it don't matter. Probably don't have a warranty anyway. Yeah, probably don't have a warranty anyways. So hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care and bye bye. <laughs> nice. Leave that nipple exposed, Michael's lab will be all over it going. Bleh. 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 Bleh.